Go. Coach, the culmination was tonight. You know, the championship is what it's all about. But this is icing on the cake for Matt. Talk about what Matt meant in this final season, uh, his final senior season to this squad. Well, I think, you know, just kind of what you mentioned, Matt would trade any individual award for a team award and a team championship. And I think that says a lot about Matt. But, um, you know, I think your senior year, you hope your seniors put their best foot forward and, and they have their best years. And certainly Matt did that for us this year. Um, I thought Matt's ability to bring the, to the team what the team needed was really his greatest strength. So if we needed him to score, he would score. If we needed him to be a better passer, like in, in terms of being a passer, um, and you know people were giving him a lot of attention, he would do that. So he had the, like, the really good ability just to kind of figure out what the team needed at that moment, he was able to do it. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Consulting. You know, it's amazing. Your adversary or uh, opponent, Coach Petromala, after that Hopkins game, said that Rambo sliced and diced us. He said he just took us apart. You know, we, we, we overlooked him, and Matt knew how to respond from that, didn't he? He became a tremendous feeder. Well, he's, he's always, you know, for us, we needed him as a freshman to be more of a scorer. And then after that, we've needed him to be more of a distributor. And Matt, again, that's his credit to him. He's got that ability to kind of morph into whatever we need him to be. Um, and he's got the ability to kind of figure out what we need at that moment. So um, I think that was probably an underrated thing about him the last couple of years. He's been a good feeder. He just really maybe didn't have to, to do it as much or people just didn't acknowledge it as much. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Consulting. Managed services and 24-hour-a-day help desk are just a few of the affordable benefits. Get help when you need it by Terps that you know. Call us at 301-251-2900 or visit oneviner.com. Yeah, it, it took a little while, but finally the senior year of Maltz and Rambo and Heacock probably turned into the most potent attack force Maryland's ever had. And there's been some great ones. But Dylan Maltz, look how he shined those final couple games. Five goals in the last two games for Dylan. Uh, Dylan was great, um, and I'm so happy for him, um, obviously, to finish his career and, and as a national champion and having such big games for us. And he had some huge goals on Monday, and, uh, you know, we don't win a championship without Dylan. Coach, I always say, you know, that if we ever won one, I wouldn't ask for nothing else. But it's been three days, and I'm getting greedy again, all right? I'm getting greedy. All right? it, it, it's uh, You created... A, uh, a whole legacy here with six Final Fours in seven years. And what's really weird, and I've told it to you before, all throughout Baltimore, and I think you felt it out of Baltimore the past couple of days, the love for you and the program and everything, that's all everybody's talking about and uh, is the job that you've done here. And wow, in championship games, one in four means a whole lot more, all right, when you got that one. You know, it really does. It's almost like you can look back on the games that we lost and say, hey, you know what? They were great seasons. And this is the culmination. Well, yeah, you know, that's the hard thing about going to the Final Four and you lose. You know how hard it is to get there. Um, but you also, you know, you, you get that close and you want to try to finish it. And uh, certainly I'm blessed with very dedicated players and talented players and our staffs have been fantastic and uh, you know to be in a place where lacrosse is so important and we get the support that we have and to, to represent a state that is so like that loves lacrosse so much it's a dream come true and it's something that motivates us and we want to work hard for our state and, and all the guys that ever put on the Maryland jersey. Go ahead Wayne. So you've now presided over a national championship, and you won Maryland's, your, your group, won Maryland's first ever Tewartan Award. What's that mean for the legacy of the program? And you talked about being a teacher first, and how all of this adds up. If you do everything right, it produces champions. Does this validate your theory? Um, I don't know. I just, I'm a real process-oriented guy, so, you know, if you do things right, we feel like every day you put yourself in a position to get your long-term goals and um, it, I think sometimes if you focus too much on what's ahead of you and you don't take care of what you can control then you're you're missing opportunities so um, I'm not sure whether it validates it or not um, I just that's what we believe and you know we're gonna stick to that uh, we've been close before I think 
you know, getting to the Final Four and, and then trying to win two games in three days, mm -hmm. it is really hard because mm -hmm. you know every year there are some talented teams and then there's always like a year where like there's a really talented and senior dominated team like a like a team like Brown mm -hmm. that you've got to beat along the way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if that that Saturday game's really taxing and you don't have much left in the tank on Monday, it really hurts you. If the weather's really hot, mm -hmm. like that could hurt you. Um, so there are all these other factors, whether like staying healthy, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. you've got to be fortunate. You've got to be playing well at the mm -hmm. right time of year. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a little bit different than maybe, maybe football used to be because football would be just at the end of the regular season whoever's ranked number one is number one mm -hmm. with us it's like basketball you have like it's great to have a regular mm -hmm. season but you've mm -hmm. got to play your best the last three weeks mm -hmm. how many hours did it save you staying in the foxborough complex oh it's awesome that was big mm -hmm. being in foxborough and then playing a team we had already played twice mm -hmm. i think it was a benefit for for both teams for sure mm -hmm. coach i'll shout it out the the fact that you had some three games in eight days situation, the midweek game from Albany might have been your biggest game of the year because you had to come right back again and play. Is that something you're going to schedule in the future, uh, maybe a few more midweek games? Uh, well, certainly, I know you hate them. I, I, I certainly think we'll look at it. I mean, you know, it's, it's hard because of, A, the academic part of it. You know, if that game's not home, that's tough. And, and then going to Albany, that's a pretty long trip. Um, you know, you'd like to have time to prepare, and we didn't feel like we had a lot of time to prepare for a really good Albany team. Um, and, you know, that became a really very much a dogfight. And obviously didn't have a lot of time to prepare for us. Um, so it was a little bit of a level playing field there. But um, it's certainly something we'll look at. I think obviously getting prepared for three, uh, two games in three days, something we want to think about. Um, but you also want to try to win those games. So that's a it's nice to have cool level. weather too. Listen, yeah. coach. I said it before, you got this win, now you're a genius. You're the same coach as you were beforehand, but now people look at you like a genius. And God bless you, what you've done for Maryland lacrosse and uh, the whole program. And best of luck going on. And you know me and Wayne will be there right by your side. Uh, we love you guys. and I'm certainly no genius. I, I got great players and an awesome staff, and that's what I'm thankful for.